Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Riri PV TV of the week. Combined with the main topics of China bias into German solar industry or Riri AG with bright future prospects, as well as our usual news flash with topics from the PV industry summarized for you. Nice to have you clicked in. China buys into German solar industry. Chinese energy companies target especially those companies desperately hoping for an investor. They use the crisis of the German solar industry to take over German module manufacturers or to participate at least financially. Their main targets are primarily smaller companies with specialized technologies such as thin film technology. Many of these companies hold patents on the technology that perhaps could be very valuable in some years. Some industry representatives are already talking about a sale of German module manufacturers. Also other experts regard the competitive constraints with suspicions. The competition is incredibly high and I can already see that there are some distortions. And now the question is how to find a way to organize fair competition between these leading economies China and Germany or China and the European Union. Already today, 80 to 90 percent of the modules in German roofs are made in China. Until recently, the Renewable Energy Act allowed many Asian manufacturers lucrative solar subsidies and hence a state-guaranteed sales market in Germany. Since the funding has now been cut down, the Chinese companies are struggling with excess capacity too. But they can continue to invest in Germany due to favorable loans from Chinese state-owned banks. Politicians such as ein and sorry, Environment Minister Altmaier now want to help German companies with anti-dumping procedures to ensure fair competitions. Riri AG with bright future prospects. In July, the German Riri AG operating in the global solar sector has signed a new franchise agreement in Ecuador. The new partner has acquired franchise licenses for Ecuador and Chile for a total of 500,000 US dollars. From this ongoing operations in Germany, Austria and Switzerland, the Riri AG expects sales of around 7.3 million euro for the current quarter, which concludes the fiscal year 2011-2012. For the first quarter of the new fiscal year, 9.2 million euro of revenues are expected. Out of the international franchise license sales, Riri expects to win a further seven franchises for 1.75 million US dollars until December this year. For international trade and commodity sales of franchisees, Riri expects revenues of around 4 million euro till December 2012 and annual revenues in the two quarters of more than 20 million euro. For the full fiscal year of 2012-2013, Riri is already in negotiation about projects with a total of 40 million euro. China tries to boost its solar industry. China has increased its solar installations target for 2015 by 40% to 21 GW in a move that could boost its struggling local solar industry. The National Energy Administration increased the target from 15 GW last year to 21 GW taking into account the drop in the costs of solar energy. In comparison, Germany, the leader in solar installations, had a total 28 GW in solar installations as of June 2012. The move is said to boost sales of local manufacturers such as Trina Solar, which have been hit by falling panel prices and tariffs in the markets such as the US. Philippines finally approved feed and tariff program. The Philippines Energy Regulatory Commission has finally approved feed and tariff rates after one of the most protracted rate setting efforts in the history of feed and tariff policy. The country's feed and tariff program was first called for in the Renewable Energy Act of 2008, which directed the government to set rates for wind, solar, runoff river hydro, biomass and ocean thermal energy. 
The rates set now are less than those recommended by energy experts. REC awarded funding for innovative solar cell research. The largest European supplier of solar modules, the Norwegian Renewable Energy Corporation, in short REC, is one of the five solar energy research teams selected to receive grants totaling 8.53 million US dollars under the Clean Energy Research Program, CERP. REC receives the grant for a proposal to develop and industrialize cost-effective and high-performing back-contact modules based on back-contacted cells using high-efficiency metal wrap-through technology. Launched in 2007 by the Energy Innovation Program Office, CRP expedits the development of the clean energy industry in Singapore. U.S. Army invests in solar energy. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has issued a request for proposals for $7 billion worth of electricity from solar, wind, geothermal and biomass. The Army Corps wants to purchase the electricity generated through power purchase agreements for up to 30 years without acquiring any renewable energy generation assets. The agency states that this process will be an important means to help the US Army reach a federal goal of 1 GW of renewable energy by 2025. Mia Soleil dismisses 200 employees. The California-based solar manufacturer Mia Soleil will lay off about 200 employees in order to conserve cash and find a large partner to continue technology development. The company, which over the years has raised more than $500 million in venture capital, is attempting to avoid becoming just another victim in a solar panel manufacturing market that has claimed several of them in the past 18 months. Z and Shine and AMD Foreign Partnership Z and Shine, the Chinese manufacturer of silicon ingots, wafers and solar PV modules, announced on Thursday a partnership with AMD to offer customers a solar module to lower overall PV system costs and increase energy output for maximum module performance. Under the terms of the partnership, Z and Shine will incorporate AMD's power conversion technology in its solar panels to deliver more energy per module. Renix, the global stock index for renewable energy, Renix World decreased yesterday around 0.92% and ended with a daily high of 167.4 points. The biggest winner was apart from the Danish Vestas Wind Systems, the Californian-based SunPower Corporation, whose shares climbed by 2.24%. To $4.50. In the company's turnover increased in the second quarter of 2012 by 0.6% to 592 million US dollars. On the other hand, the Chinese Suntec power share sank by 5.11% to $1.025. Those were the news so far this week. Next Friday we'll be back for you as usual. I also recommend you to follow our daily news. If you're curious, please click into our website pv.tv. Until then, have a great time. See you and goodbye.